here I will show you how to upgrade your PC and what we're gonna do is upgrade this PC that's my uh, secondary computer at the moment it's quite basic it has a 12 core CPU 2.8 gigahertz it has 4 gigabytes of RAM and it has a very very big graphics card which is uh, 9500 GT I believe so yes that's what it was it's only 512 uh, megabytes what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna upgrade the CPU to quad core and we're gonna upgrade the graphics card to a GTX 550 Ti I had these two before in the main computer I used the GTX 550 SLI this is not the uh, GTX uh, 680 there's uh, another 550 in there this 680 is in my uh, primary computer and this computer is gonna get some upgrades so it will be a little bit faster and better and also we're gonna upgrade the CPU cooler at the moment it has a default cooler the first thing can you just uh, pull the cover off on the computer this panel just slides back a little bit and opens up I have custom mods in here like this fan in here it doesn't have a connector so I have to uh, undo the screws from this side to get it off from there. This is also a custom uh, dust filter. Well I've taken off the side panel as you can see and I uh, unmounted this uh, side fan. That's the decorating grill for it. And here's the fan. Looks quite dusty to be honest. But uh, here's the CPU cooler. This is uh, Asus Silent Night 2 really like this cooler, it's pretty awesome. That was my old cooler be uh, before the H100. That's quite a nice job, I have to say. And it looks really nice, it has a blue LED fan in there. Which makes it look really nice. First we can take the graphics card off. There's just one screw on the edge in here. And once that is off, we have a small release lever in there. Every motherboard has it different and then all we have to do is just uh, the graphics card is stuck on something else in here there we go and as I was saying every motherboard has this different this one goes up some of them slide from the side which is a lot better one and now we can undo the CPU cooler first thing we unplug the fan these connectors you just pull out that's it and the lever is on this side do not actually release it like this, put some pressure on it with your hand, not much just a little bit and still hold it with your hand until you can undo these brackets and this is very important if you take the CPU cooler off, don't just pull it off you end up ripping your CPU out of the socket because the thermal paste is also like a clue so what you want to do is do this move it from side to side and then do like that and you're gonna get it off without damaging the CPU or ripping it out and the CPU itself just pull the lever up like this once it's up just take the CPU out and never touch the pins this is a very bad idea never touch any of the pins just take it out and if you want to put it somewhere just hold it from the sides like that don't touch the pins and the new CPU is going to be Phenom X4975 it's uh, better to put the CPU in the place first and then clean it off because it's extremely hard to clean the CPU uh, without touching the pins so you can only go with, uh, one way with it you can see this holes in there so the CPU just goes uh, one way in there and you just put it in there put some pressure on it not too much but not too little either and then just close the lever and CPU is in place now I just have to clean this uh, old thermal paste off with something I'm gonna first be using this kind of sponge I already used this to clean the cooler itself this is just to get the main stuff off 
and if you clean this just be careful not to uh, bump into any other components that's actually pretty stuck in there so you have to make sure you don't have any bits in there because that's gonna reduce the performance of the cooler a lot and the final cleaning touch I'm gonna use this uh, cloth and just make sure it's wiped off try to wipe it just from one side to another all the time get all of it off I think it's ready for it uh, cooler but I think I have another problem because the motherboard packet doesn't fit this cooler I need to fit this the custom bracket so I have to take the other panel off on the computer and uh, fit it from the other side this was not supposed to happen so uh, usually the cases they have a hole in here so you can change the motherboard bracket but well this case doesn't so I have to take the motherboard off and I brought the camera a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing the motherboard has uh, usually from uh, 6 to 9 screws maybe even more I have to undo all of them obviously and be very careful with the screwdriver that you don't scratch the motherboard actually I rushed ahead a little bit what you should first do is disconnect all the wires ideally you should undo absolutely everything including see that's the thing why you should not unscrew the motherboard before uh, disconnecting the cables you can leave everything else on like the RAM and stuff it's not so important to take it off so I have undone all the screws so I'll try to lift the motherboard out of there just again don't slide the motherboard on anything yeah this is more than enough the wires are very long this uh, bracket in here this one that has to come off you shouldn't actually put the motherboard how I put it but make sure it doesn't touch the metal that's why I have this cloth under it I really don't want to undo the uh, wires from here but actually you should do that and take the whole motherboard off but by the looks of this you can actually put your finger on the CPU these should just slide out somehow but I'm absolutely don't understand this bracket how it works and the way these things actually open is from the other side I will show you real quick you can be careful with this I don't know how well you can see in there but there are like a middle piece in here which you put the screwdriver on and what you do is just it's very hard to hold the motherboard this way and then uh, try to do it but you just uh, push the middle bit there we go out and from this side these mushroom things they just pop out and now the bracket should come off let's see if this one just doesn't want to uh, pop out there we go here's the bracket so I'll show you closely how it looks like if you close this up it closes the gap in here what I did I put the screwdriver in between and just push this pin uh, like so there we go and that's how you open this kind of bracket and here's the front bracket and uh, I just had the back plate somewhere in here this is the Asus uh, back plate this one so it's gonna go like this through the motherboard so we put this on the back and this goes on the top and we just tighten the screws I have already assembled this because I took it off from my other computer but anyway basically this bracket was pre-used and that's why it was a little bit harder it's very close to these transistors and stuff <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, gonna do anything but yeah it's very close to RAM it's very weak bracket that's a bad side of this the way it goes is in here between that I'm just gonna press down on the cooler and uh, close this and that's it and we can apply the thermal paste first first we look which way the cooler should go uh, Asus Sunlight it has 
indicator here says air that's uh, which way it goes so this should be this way air comes from the front and goes out from the back and it's gonna sit like this so the best way is actually to put just a little bit in the middle this has been standing for a while this uh, thermal paste but it's okay should be okay and you should just put the piece in the middle I think this should do, that should be more than enough. And then you just press the cooler on it and try not to move it too much. Again, check that the airflow is right. And just press it on top of it like this. Might move it just a little bit, but that should be fine. And do not pull it off anymore. So while I'm installing this bracket in here, that's going to be quite difficult. <laughs> There's not much room in there. Have to go all the way around. Maybe just have to go this way. There we go, the packets are uh, almost in place. I have to say that honestly, this cooler is very difficult to fit. It's very, very difficult almost no room and I can't even see what I'm doing, I just have to do it by the feels of it. Done. Once it's under pressure it will still move a little bit but it shouldn't be too much. And don't forget to connect the fan. Just have to <laughs> remember where it was, it's a bit tricky but let me get it from some side. Again, I can't even see, it's like halfway under the bracket, but I got it. This is one of my old cards, I had two of them in SMI as I mentioned before. This is quite easy. Simply, uh, I'll first take this wire out of the way. This was actually under the graphics card, so I'm gonna put it back where it was, that's the back fans. Because of the wire, it's uh, very short. I have to put it where it was. Right, this is going to take up two slots. Just uh, slot it in. Just press it down and that's it. And you should put screws in there. This is not the biggest graphics card, so one screw should be more than enough, honestly. Hold it a little bit up. Just press it upwards and tighten the screw. Before you are buying yourself a graphics card, make sure that your power supply actually supports it. You need to check from the website and NVIDIA gets it's NVIDIA.com. You have to check from the specifications how much power it takes. And just connect the cable up and we have it. I can't do any cable management in here because uh, there's just no room for it. And now it's time to just uh, put the cord back on and boot it up and see how it does. <laughs> 